over the Easter break, I managed to do a lot of work towards setting up this new Patreon display area. It's still nowhere near complete, but at least I managed to get the base work out of the way. Over the break, I managed to find materials to serve as pedestals. I've also finally transferred my garden show purchases into pots. Terracotta pots. Thank you, past Chuck. You're welcome, future Chuck. Now sit back, relax, and find out how I got from this to this. I have a friend who just moved houses. While helping them move some things, I noticed that they had unused tree stumps that they were trying to get rid of. I immediately sensed a landscaping opportunity and decided to take them home. The imbricata and the alcove are too light, too pale, and etiolated, but I think they would be better off if I move them out to the open now. You know what, it's been a while since I went to any Bunnings and I'm here today because I need to get a few, well, maybe more than a few terracotta pots because I bought all of those echeverias from the show. So let's go do that. Of course, I can't go to Bunnings without picking at the succulents. I said I'm here for the pots and I have more self-control now. I like these bowls, but they are quite pricey for my taste. I might have to look for something like this in another shop. I found the 20 centimeter ones, but I can't find the one dollar pots. I might have to look at another section. And I found them at last. You did a great job hiding them, Bunnings. 
I've got 20 in my cart and I think that would be enough for now. <laughs> I don't usually like the look of these pots but I saw an arrangement made by Gloria Ninotti and I think I rather like it but I don't know. I'll have a good think about this. I'll be back. The fiber clay round pots are on clearance prices. I'm not sure if I'm going to take them. These rocks are interesting. They are slate. But at 990 each, I'm not sure if I'm willing to do to do this. It is 8 p.m. We just arrived home and I wasn't able to water my plants today, so I'm going to do that now. takes care of all of them. As you've seen just now, Zach and I spent the tail end of the afternoon potting up the plants. The new pots are larger than what I originally had them in, so I needed to move them to a bigger space. I thought of using the new space that I'm working on as a temporary holding area. And that we certainly did.
Here's the plants that I moved out last night. I just dumped them into a vacant spot along the fence since I didn't know what to do with them yet. We'll be hosting a party at home on Sunday and I just have today to work on cleaning up so I have to move fast. Before I can do anything, I will need to clear up the space to make way for all of the stumps. The first task involves removing these chili plants. To minimize transplant shock, I will have to soak them to make the soil clump around the roots. I agree with you, narrator Chuck. will be their temporary arrangement until I can decide what I want to do with the edge over there because ideally I would want all five pots to have their own pedestals but unfortunately I only have four stumps so we'll see what I can do with that cleaning up and lifting, I'm finally done with the base of the Patreon area. And speaking of Patreon, I'd like to thank my Patreon supporters, that's you, Oscarino, Judy Seal, Snap Kui, Camille Narvaez, and Gloria Ninotti. There's still a few spots left, and if you're interested in one, simply head over to my Patreon, that's patreon.com slash seriescapades. But only if you're willing, because it's quite a commitment.
I managed to get everything in with lots of time to spare for the party. We're going to be quite busy this weekend and we've already started setting up the tables and chairs. We even got a tent. I also managed to clean up a lot of the alfresco so there's no longer much pots in the ground for you to step on. And at least we managed to make a bit more space. Now once the party's over, I'm going to continue working on this pot. And part of me is liking what it's looking like right now. And by that I mean I like seeing all of the pots in there. In fact, my wife also mentioned that she likes seeing the pots there. And because of that, it got me thinking, maybe what if I incorporate them into the design? I could probably dig holes for them, just set them a bit deeper. That way, they won't be covering the stumps because I still need the stumps to stand out. I'll be doing a lot of thinking about this and we'll see how we go. With all of that said, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.